So I thought I'd do a quick uh, overview of my uh, reactor. Um, I wanted to free up some space in the sump because uh, I was running out of space quite quickly, and uh, so I took out my reactors that you could uh, you could run them obviously in the sump, and decided to put them externally. So this is a um, a RO unit I bought online on eBay. It cost me about 35, 40 quid all together, including the valves and. Uh, I just quite like it having external because it means I can adjust it. Quite like having it on show. Um, I put two valves, one on the input and one on the output. This just makes it really simple to adjust the flow to get whatever you like. Whether you want to uh, keep it tumbling like I've got it, or you have it just uh, gently going through. So I'll try and take a picture to focus on this, but you might be able to see that the uh, phosphate's going backwards and forwards quite nicely. Um, some people might say that's a bit too much flow, but it's personal choice, I guess. And then the carbon, no grinding whatsoever, just held down there quite nicely. But I uh, thought I'd just give an overview, seeing as uh, people are always asking about reactors and what I've done with mine. So it just neatly mounts on the wall. Again, you could just put this on the uh, uh, inside your sump if you've got the room. Uh, I just quite like it because it makes it really easy to change um, change the media, actually. Um, similar to the one on bulk uh, reef supply which you can get from America just I couldn't find anything in the UK so I built my own but uh, literally just turn off the uh, plug undo these which is quite simple and um, just replace the media all the water automatically drains out as soon as I take the pump off um, so there's no mess whatsoever so there you go that's my little DIY reactor that I built it took me 20-30 minutes uh, it cost me about 40 quid